Hello, my name is Bart Brecka. Today I'm going to go over some uh, ProNC uh, func basic functionality out of Wildfire 4 and then in a later video I'll do the same thing in Creo 2. So Design Engine is a school located in Chicago. We don't sell software, we focus on workflow. We help a wide variety of both industrial designers and engineers from uh, working in product design to aircraft. So in order to start my demo, you know, you need to have you need to have something that you've modeled that you want to CNC. I've already done that. I'm going to bring it into my model. The first thing I want to do is create a manufacturing NC assembly and I'm going to call it something um, that might reference my the part that I'm going to manufacture. Lever. Okay. So the software works from top down, so I'm going to come come over here and just grab a model that I need to bring in. If you hover over it, it'll tell you it's an assembly reference model. I'm going to grab my lever four, right hold down, default constraint, middle click, assemble that any way you don't normally do. Now I need to create a workpiece. Basically, in, in assembly mode, you're going create component, create part. So I'm going to do that. Automatic work piece. Okay, so an automatic work, you might have a specific piece of billet that you need to bring in. Uh, I just went ahead and created something that's a bar stock the size of what I'm trying to mill out. Okay, so now I need to create a mill window. window over here so you can see it. Manufacturing model, setup, machining's gonna happen last, and then we'll play a video of the machining. So let's create a window of what we want to mill out. And uh, Wildfire 4 just automatically created a, a yellow curve type feature that creates a circle around my part. I've got a mill on the inside and mill on the outside. So the next thing I need to do, manufacturing setup. I'm going to go ahead and share with you these tools. I'm not going to cover everything that's in here, but uh, I need I need to know a coordinate system, right? And then uh, what what machining process am I going to do? Is it going to be a mill, a lathe? So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Of course, you might want to fill out all this information, and uh, it's quite self-explanatory. I'm going to hit Apply and OK. So you can see all these, everything I'm doing stacks up just like it were a feature and a part. Now I'm ready to create a... mill volume. Let's go do that here. So I'll go I'll go machining NC sequence. I'm going to click window instead of volume. Okay, and it brings up basically my tool. You'll get this information off the box that when you buy your tools that what information, right? So we'll we'll just hit apply here, take all the defaults. Now it's set my edit parameters. I've, you know, cut speed. You're going to fill out what, how fast that is, and what have you. I've, I've done this already, and uh, it's quite self-explanatory. The ones that you need to fill out are the ones that are yellow here and, and, and blank. I've, I've filled them out already, and I saved it. So I'm just going to open those and drop them in. Okay, so you can look at the variables that I, I gave it. Okay, so now how far back do my, does my tool retract? This is where I pull up off the z-axis a, a, a specific height. And you'll see later when I go to play back my... I, 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 I click the volume, but you'll see later when I go back to play back the video 
what ultimately happens. So uh, I'm going to go now and and choose done done sequence. If you don't do that, it doesn't save. That's kind of a user interface fiasco. Let's go out now and play the path. Okay, so you can see the tools dropped in there. If it was too small, maybe you've got your metric and inches mixed up, right? So let's hit play, and it, it went ahead and CNC'd the inside of my model. Okay, so in the next video, I'll do the same exact thing, but in Creo. Thanks for watching my kind of introduction to ProNC so you could see kind of how to do it and how to set up the models.